Hello everyone, my name is Cynthia Vandurek. I am an ecologist, naturalist, I am also part of Pop Trails. And today I'm going to speak about arthropods. That includes mainly insects, spiders, scorpions, mites, crustaceans, among others. Arthropods comprise the most diverse group of animals on Earth. Of all known species, three quarters are arthropods. They have spent more than 350 million years on Earth and they were the first organism to develop the flight before reptiles, mammals and birds. Insects can be found in almost every environment. But have you ever wondered what would be of our planet without these animals? Insects are food of many amphibians, reptiles, mammals, birds and also fish. They play an important role in the food chain. Insects also pollinate a vast majority of plants that produces and that includes our crops and the food we eat. They enrich the soil, recycling nutrients and disposing of dead organisms and waste. And think about it, without insects like dung beetles and the composer breaking down and removing animals and plant weight that result would be certainly unpleasant. Small in size, yes they are, but with a number of individuals estimated at several million of million on the planet's surface at the same time, they generate an extraordinary impact contributing to the functioning of ecosystem in a colossal way. They are an amazing group of animals with an extraordinary set of strategies to survive. Some of them are so strange that seem out of fiction. But we had some bad news. There is evidence of substantial declining in arthropod abundance and biodiversity. Over 40% of insect species are in trouble. And there are several reasons why these animals are at risk. And it's always the same story. Deforestation, habitat loss and conversion into agriculture, and urbanization. And of course, with agriculture came the use of chemicals like herbicides and pesticides. So pollution is affecting them too. Climate change plays a big role too, especially when we experience the extreme of weather like droughts and floods. Other factors include uh, invasive species, parasites and disease. So as uh, you can see, not only the big species and more charismatic ones are in trouble, also the smallest and unnoticed ones. But like I mentioned before, they play an important role in the functioning of ecosystem. So it's time to rethink our relationship with nature. If we don't do it, and if we continue with our lifestyle, and if we think that the responsibility is always someone else, and we don't recognize that all our actions have an impact in the planet, so entire ecosystem will begin to collapse, and with them, our life. Thanks for watching.